Very excited for today's video because I'm going to be showing you how women will purposefully destroy men who commit to them. What I'm going to be showing you on today's presentation is so in depth that if you can see this for what it is and you can purposefully spot this and on top of that, you can make sure you do not make any of these mistakes. Your confidence is going to be sky high. The woman that you're dating will always look at you as a guy with high amounts of swag or high amounts of sex appeal, and she's going to want you. So because of this, you need to actually focus for the next 10 to 20 minutes so that way you can internalize these concepts at a deep level. Now, after this video is over, be sure to go down below. I want you to click the link in the description and I want you to check out the full length MBT masculine behavioral technique, full length end to end webinar presentation that I put together for you because inside of that, what we do is we take some of these concepts even a step further so that way you can maximize your dating life and you can also get results at a far quicker pace. So once this video is over, be sure to check that out in the description below. Let's dive in. Okay, this is exactly how women destroy the men who commit to them and there's four steps. Okay, these are the four steps that will typically occur in a relationship or these are kind of the four steps that she will go through. And as she goes through these progressions, it will typically really hurt not only your confidence, but it's going to hurt your overall just spirit and who you are as a man if you let these things happen. So I really wanna show you how to make sure none of this happens. The very first thing that the woman will oftentimes do is attack your confidence to give you a lower perception of your own SMV, your own sexual market value. Say this with me again. The woman will attack your confidence to give you a lower perception of your sexual market value. That means she wants you to think that your sexual market value is lower than it actually is. So what she's doing is she's proving to herself or she's giving herself reasons why she should leave you. It's like she's almost trying to convince herself that you have a lower um, appeal than she thought you did. So here's what I mean. In the beginning when you first date, She's going to be doing this through tones of voices, a tone of voice. You're going to notice a tone of voice shift. It's like sometimes she's going to be rude. Sometimes she's going to say things short. And a lot of times you're going to notice that when she says things, it's almost going to be condescending where it's like she's trying to take a dig at you. And if she's taking a dig at you, it, it will oftentimes like hurt your internal confidence or your internal conviction that you have for yourself. So be aware of this. What she's trying to do is make you feel not competent. You see, a man always wants to feel competent. You want to feel like you're smart, you're capable, you're strong, you're able to do things. And you want to be able to feel like your woman looks at you that way too, that you're dating, right? The woman that you're dating, you want her to look at you as that type of guy. Her goal is to make you feel like you are not that guy. So you're going to notice she'll say things. She might say things like, how don't you know that? And she's going to say it in a way with a, with a rude voice. So it, 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 she wants it to affect you is what I'm trying to say. She maybe will say things like, can you do anything right? Or she will just be like pissed off for you even existing. You're going to notice that when she looks at you, it's like, she's just disgusted that you're even around her. This is step one is attacking your confidence by trying to give you a lower perception of your own sexual market value. Now, at this point, what's going to happen is you as a man, you're going to start to doubt your own attractiveness. You can't do this. If you fall into this trap, you failed because you, you failed the test at this point. Now you need to be aware of this. Okay. She wants your spirit to take a hit, to give herself reasons to leave you. This is the point that I'm trying to get across. The point that I'm trying to get across is it's very hard for a woman to leave a guy who still has swag. It's hard for a woman to leave a guy who still has confidence with himself. It's very hard for a woman to leave a guy who still has sex appeal. It's very hard for a woman to leave a guy who still has his masculine spirit. You cannot lose that. That is the internal traits of high value that I've been trying so hard to discuss on this channel. She wants to test your internal strength. She wants to test your internal confidence. She wants to test who you are and what you're made of on the inside. The second you fail these things and the second you get emotionally reactive is the second that she gives herself one more reason to have one, one foot out the door of that relationship. Very important that you spot this. Okay. Now, step two, once, once this has occurred where she's starting to use words to work into your subconscious that she doesn't like you. The second thing that you're going to notice is a complete disinterest in sex. So what you're going to notice is 
she's going to give you every excuse in the book. That means she's always tired. She's never in the mood and she acts like she's not turned on by you. Once again, this is on purpose because here's what you have to remember. It's not that you're unattractive. So here's what I mean. You might be going, well, why, why, why is she, why is she not interested in sex? Why is she always not turned on for me? It's not because you're unattractive. This is what you have to remember. And the reason why I know that is because you attracted her in the first place. So you have to remember that how you carried yourself day one for how you attracted the girl is how you need to carry yourself day 365 or day 700. This is why the confidence has to become you. The masculine frame and the internal confidence has to become you. It has to, you have to become a man who embodies these traits. You don't just put it on for a short period of time and then you lose it. Now she needs your swag and confidence to take a hit. You have to remember this is her whole plan. She needs this to occur or she cannot leave you because if you still have your swag and your confidence, you're, you're attractive to other women that you're around and she'll see that. And now you have pre-selection working on your side. As you have pre-selection working on your side, you have more status. If you have more status, she naturally wants you keep this in mind. Now, as your confidence and your swag takes a hit, okay, as that lowers, you lose the sex appeal that makes a man. So now she really has disinterest. Now at this point, she really has potential reasons to leave you. Now at this point, she really is starting to prove herself right that you are not who you said you were. So now she has enough proof to leave you. You have to remember what she's giving herself is she's introducing frames to give strategic proof to herself that you are low value so she can exit. If you pass those tests and you prove her wrong by showing that you are actually high value and you still embody your confidence and your swag 24 seven, and that can't be destroyed. You are now the man she consistently looks up to. You are now the man she desires. You are now the man that she wants. Now, when you've noticed a disinterest in sex, step three is going to come. And step three, this is what every man will run into. If, if you notice a disinterest in sex, it, this automatically follows the, these four steps is like basically battle tested with every relationship. They follow this similar framework or this, this similar structure. Step three is she brings out your insecurities. Well, how does she do that? She does it by withholding sex and then trying to lower your confidence. So then all the red flags go off in your head where you sit there and you go, man, is she sleeping with somebody else? Does she want somebody else? Is there a guy at work she's talking to? Am I not good enough? Do I not make enough money? Am I not handsome enough? Am I not tall enough? Hmm. Did I say this thing that pissed her off? These are the thoughts that she wants in your head. She wants you to now be insecure. She wants to bring out your insecurities. So you'll wonder why there's no sex or love. You're going to notice she doesn't adore you. There's no companionship. There's no love. Um, she doesn't try to bring that care towards you. And she, since she's disinterested in sex, you're wondering if she's sleeping with somebody else. So now your insecurities are drawn out. Now your insecurities are being shown. And what she'll do is she'll throw it right back in your face right now. So stick with me here. As soon as you bring out these insecurities, because you're bound to, you're bound to ask her, you're going to ask, you're going to say, are you sleeping with someone else? Are you seeing someone else? Are you not interested in me? Especially if a guy hasn't consumed any content to help you like break through some of these barriers or pass some of these tests, you're going to naturally just ask this. You're going to look at her one day and you're going to say, what's wrong? You're going to look at her and you're going to say, why, why do, why are you never turned on by me? You're going to look at her and you're going to say, why do you never seem interested in me right there? She has you because now she has you in an emotionally reactive state. And now she knows that this is affecting you internally. If she can affect your confidence, if she can affect your, your mental, uh, I don't even want to call it mental, um, strength and resiliency, but just how your thought process works day to day. She now sees that she's moved you off center. So as soon as you ask this, she has won the positioning. She's actually been, she's had victory in the positioning because now she can use this against you to give herself a reason to leave. And here's what I mean. As soon as you ask something like this, the nine times out of 10, she is going to throw this back in your face. And she's going to say, look at you. You're so needy. I'm going to try to imitate the voice too. You're so needy. 
Oh, you're so insecure. This, she, she's gonna go this, this reason right here, these questions like this, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to sound like, I'm trying to play this out a little bit. She's gonna say, this is why we don't work right here, because you ask stuff like this. These conversations and these questions, notice she throws it back at you. So this is gonna, gonna be a big question mark in your head because you're sitting there thinking, I've never said anything like this, I've never had a conversation like this, I've probably been dating this woman for one year, two years, three years. This is probably an important thing to say. And now she's going to use this against you to give herself a reason to potentially exit right then and there. She's looking for the right moment to exit. By you saying these things, you have potentially now given her that exact moment and the right leverage to give herself the confidence to fully leave you. And you have to remember, she's been emotionally leaving you by the day through this whole process. And she's gonna say this right here, she throws it back at your face, she says this right here, these insecurities, you being needy like this, this is why we don't work. And this is totally going to confuse you, but you see now how it makes sense. These are strategic frames that she's introduced and you're walking right into them. As you walk right into them, you lose your perceived value. As you lose that perceived value, she now has a reason to chase a different guy's approval and a different guy's validation. This is just how it works. Now, step four. This one for a lot of you, if you've been in long-term relationships, is probably going to hurt the most, but you just have to see this for what it is. Step four is she exits the relationship, meaning she no longer talks to you, she doesn't wanna see you, and she proves all of your suspicions correct. Every suspicion that you had, that you bottled up on the inside and you did not say, or every suspicion that she said was false, you're gonna notice it comes true. So. She may go sleep with your friend or one of your best friends that you assume she had interest in, but she denied it. The guy that you are worried about, maybe it's the guy at work, the guy at school, whoever, the guy that you are worried about, she's now actually dating him. You find out later on a couple weeks or a couple months down the road, she's in a full on long-term relationship with this guy, potentially even with seeing him on the side when you guys were together. Now your suspicions of her cheating, you're, you might realize they were correct. Okay. This is the whole frame that a man typically walks into and this is exactly how women will slowly destroy the men who commit to them. Now, when I tell you these things, I'm not saying this to be bitter. I'm not saying this to have any sort of um, like issues with any of this. I'm just trying to tell you the facts for how it is. Step one, this usually happens, is there's usually an attack on the guy's confidence to lower his sexual market value or, or his own mental perceived sexual market value. You gotta remember this. If you're a 10 out of 10, her job is to make you feel every day when you get out of bed that you're an eight out of 10. That's her job. And then if you get out of bed every day and you feel like you're an eight out of 10, her new job is to make you feel like you're a six out of 10, so she has a reason to leave you. That's what I mean, your perception of your own sexual market value. That's first. Second is a disinterest in sex or love. Step three is she brings out your insecurities and step four, now she proves all of your suspicions correct. This is the framework that typically happens. So never under any circumstances let a woman do these three things. The first thing you can never let a woman do is break your spirit, especially your masculine spirit that keeps you energetic and alive. The second thing that you can never allow a woman to do is lower your confidence. And the third thing is make you lose your swag. If these three things stay high, your sexual market value stays high. If your sexual market value stays high, you're attractive to other women. If you're attractive to other women, the woman that you're with will currently keep pursuing you. But you have to be able to spot this for what it is. As soon as you notice number one and two happen, maybe a lowering of your confidence or an attempt to lower your confidence with a, a possible disinterest in sex, the first thing, like the only thing you have to do is start to remove attention, remove care, and have time apart. If you guys are dating and she's seeing you every day or every other day, you need to go let seven to 10 days pass without you really talking to her much and pull back. Your time is no longer looked at as a prize. Your attention is now looked at as low value. How do you raise that attention and that time so that way she looks at it as valuable? you add scarcity to it. Things that, are in sca things that are scarce and hard to obtain become more valuable. When you take that seven to 10 days and you pull back, now what's going to happen is she might look at you in a different way where she starts to value you again. So women will only oftentimes value you if they know what it's like to not have you in their life, which means you need to introduce this if you notice these first two steps happening. 
As soon as you, you notice this, you pull back you remove that time, you remove that, that attention. And I know internally it's going to hurt because internally you're going to think, well, if I go seven to 10 days, if I take time off from seeing her, she might go see someone else. She might go out on a date. She might go sleep with somebody. If she has any amount of attachment towards you, this is probably not going to happen. And you just have to be stronger than your own logic. You have to be stronger than your own emotions. And you have to override both of those and you need to say, Hey, she's not valuing my time or my attention. Therefore, right now she does not get it. End of story, period. That's how it has to work. If you like this video, I want you to hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.